come in. Come on in. Welcome. We're going to redo this room from this to this. In this video, I will share some tips and tricks on paint prepping, carpet installation, and doorway transitions. Also where we purchase the items and a room tour. We decided carpet over laminate for sound since this is a music room. I also suggest that we paint the room, I mean me, as I'm the master painter here. He's too busy with work, so I do all the painting in the home, as I am better at it anyways. <laughs> he says I have more patience and attention to detail. Now, on to the prepping. Here are our paint helpers. You want to help me? Yes, they do, they do. Okay, first I started vacuuming and eventually filling a thousand holes and numerous cracks that we had. Tip, use the butt end of a screwdriver to push in the hole to make it indented so no particles stick out. There is a long crack all the way to the floor molding. So I cut into the crack with a screwdriver to make a nice clean cut, wiped it and filled it in with caulking. Here the floor molding also separated quite a bit, so I used toilet paper to fill it in. I had this idea years ago when I did the crown moldings in our family room on the ceiling. The moldings didn't quite match perfectly, so after much thought and not wanting to take down the molding to redo it, I used toilet paper and it worked. Time to tape all the baseboards, doorways, and glass. All right, taping the moldings is almost done. And here's my little helper. Gotta take a little break, Snake. This is almost done. Now I'm removing each glass dome for cleaning. Okay, the room is totally been prepped. And now for the fun part. Right, it's time to paint. Yay. All right, I'm almost finished painting the corners. Okay, the room has been painted, finally. It is so clean, white, and fresh. And I just removed most of the blue tape. And here's the babies. Oh, guys, I love you, I love you. Okay, let's finish this. Woo! Wow, that's pretty freaking high. Okay, good thing I'm not scared of heights. Well, I am, but not like really high heights, not this height. So for my bucket list, I want to do a parachute jump. All right, I'm going to remove the tape and the tin foil off the guitar hooks. I mean the spills that you did. The 
beer spills. Why are you saying the beer? Because that's what it is. My brother makes spills. <laughs> Blame it on your brother. Oh. No. Lift me up. My knee's hurting me. Yeah, my back's hurting, so you're gonna have to stop bending. Ah, it's fucking me. Now, the underlay removal. Mm, look at that crack. That's pretty bad. Out the window she goes. My husband stepped in to help me paint the ceiling to speed things up. Painting ceiling is hard, really hard work. But nothing compared to painting my son's room, Space Galaxy. I painted the ceilings and night sky with glow-in-the-dark paint, some glitter, and I used gradient blues on the walls. It came out really nice, much nicer than I can capture in ca on the camera. Yeah, it took me a long time. I did so many stars, thousands of them. All right, we've got the underlay done. Perfect. Looking good. Today we will be <coughs> installing the new carpet. It has been really difficult to bring this into the room, but it smells so new and fresh. I love it. Now we're trimming the carpet. I'm going lower than I think, but it's okay. All right, we cut back. A lot of the carpet, but there is still a lot more to cut down. <laughs> this is what happens when you don't know what the hell you're doing. <laughs> watch. This is how it's done. <laughs> now he's he's hitting it even harder just because he's on video. <laughs> All right, this is what happens to your knee after using this thing. For the edges it's all red actually this cut is from getting cut on a ruler keep going keep going Well, we're having a lot of trouble cutting the edges of the carpet, carpet trimmer. It didn't work. In fact, it trimmed too much of the carpet at the edge, so we had to slide the carpet over. Luckily, we had enough to do that. So we're gonna try something new. Today, we're going to stretch the carpet. This is how you set up the carpet stretcher. It snaps together fairly easily. We rented ours from the local hardware store. To use the carpet stretcher, you have to take a 2x4, put some carpet around it, staple it. It's to protect the walls of the baseboards. You have to place it at an angle in order to stretch the carpet correctly. Now, this is how you stretch a carpet. knife. I don't know about that. This is why you need knee protection when you're cutting carpet. Right. So the room has been, well, the carpet. Huh? We've stretched the carpet. We have cut the carpet all around the edges. And not an easy feat. I'm going to do that little corner there. And next, we have to do this the transition. Here I'm applying carpet glue between the tile and the tack strip. Here 
here I'm using the knee kicker to slightly kick and press the carpet down to grip the tack strip. To get a clean, nice looking transition, fold the carpet back with your tool and push it in. Alright, the carpet transition is done. Okay, now it's time to do the transition on this other doorway. This one's different. Here I'm starting the cutting with a fresh new blade. The carpet trimmer just doesn't work. That's why we ditched it earlier on in the project and only used a good blade for the entire, entire carpet trimming. I cut back more than I needed to make sure I don't cut too much. I cut the corners. I found the heavy duty scissors work well for me. And now I'm cutting it down to the correct size. I'm testing to see if the carpet is cut back enough. Looks like I have to cut back more of the carpet. Here I'm applying the carpet glue. Now I'm tucking in the carpet into right underneath the transition strip. Here I'm using the carpet tucker tool to help push the carpet underneath the oak floor transition strip. And here I'm using the knee kicker to slightly kick and press the carpet down to grip the tack strip. Carpet transition is done on both entryways and we are pretty pleased on how it turned out considering this is my first time doing it. All right, the studio's coming along really nice. All that hard work we did with the painting and the carpet installation looks great. Oh, here's the drawers. It has a really neat light. Light bar that attaches to the sides. Changes color. That beautiful purple. And here's the finished result. We're really happy how it turned out. The room smells so new and fresh. I love the smell of new carpet and paint. It's his space and sanctuary, and my hubby absolutely loves it. 
Hope you enjoyed this video and our journey to, in this makeover. If you liked and enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time. Bye!